Hey guys, welcome to IT Content Channel. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can install Kali Linux on a Raspberry Pi and what you can do with it with Kali Linux. And also, this Pi supports something that is very unique and nice, which is the Wi Fi card, and it supports monitor mode, so we can do some Wi Fi stuff with it. So, stick around, let's get started. Okay, so you need three things right now which is the Kali Linux ISO image, the imager for Raspberry Pi and also a Raspberry Pi. So you can download the imager on these websites of which I've linked the links in the description. So you want to go to the, the website that I've linked and you want to download, if you're on Windows, download that. If you're on Mac or Ubuntu, you have the two choices there. Okay, so once you download this uh, imager, you just need to install it. It's a matter of pressing next, next there's nothing special to read then also you want to go to Kali Linux itself okay it's the website will look like this okay it will look like this so you want to download the ARM version since Raspberry Pi runs on an ARM processor so you want to click on ARM then it will take you to this side here so you need to download uh, the Kali Linux version of your supported hardware for in my case i'm running a 64-bit uh, raspberry pi 4 that's the one i have so i'll download it from here and click on download there okay so depending on what are the specs for the raspberry pi you just need to select the one which suits your pi and download it okay i've already I have mine downloaded already then once you are done uh, we need to close your browser now and open up the imager okay so in my case i'll just type in imager here and as you can see i have my raspberry pi imager just tap click there and it should open all right so now from here we need to remove the sd card from our raspberry pi and put it in the card reader like so so i have my memory card and my card reader so i just need to put my memory card in the card reader then plug it into the pc so once you have your memory card plugged into the pc you want to click where it says choose os click there so it will bring this to you so you want to scroll all the way down to where it says use custom then click custom so now from here we have uh, we have to choose the iso image that you've downloaded so I'll look for my color linux here of which is here color linux for pi arm 64 like that that's my image then i want to click open so that will add it to this part here now we need to choose the memory card now so where you go to choose storage device then here you want to select the actual device that you want to do it on so in my case i have this storage device which is 32 gb so i recommend 16 gigs and above so you want to click your memory card then you want to click right so this will warn you that it's going to erase everything on the disk just say yes then once it starts here this is a process where you step out and go and get a coffee because this takes a while jump into Kali Linux itself here you just need to put in the password which is Kali on the username and Kali on the password okay then you should see your desktop like this so what we are going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate how a Wi-Fi hack works and also this is for educational purposes and I'm going to be demonstrating this on my Wi-Fi network and also this is to show you why you need to put in strong passwords on a router and i'll also show you some of the tricks you can do to prevent this from happening to your network okay so you want to go to the applications icon on Kali linux then here you want to navigate to where it says wi-fi attack then you want to go to where it says fin wi-fi cracker just click that so this will ask you for a password in your case put in kali since that's your password the default password but you can still change it as i did okay so i'll put in my password and press enter and that should trigger it to start so you just give it a second and you also see that once we put our wi-fi card in monitor mode it will disconnect from any network that you're connected to okay so this is what you're going to see this thing you can just say no okay then here you want to click 
select interface and select your Wi-Fi card. This will trigger it to go into monitor mode. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi has this by default. No, no uh, USB external Wi-Fi cards attached. Okay, you can click OK for that. So as it is in monitor mode, you can click scan or search for Wi-Fi networks. And as you can see here, it will show you what it has detected okay so you also give it a second and as you can see it has detected that so you can click where it says wi-fi and you will be able to see all the wi-fi networks right there so the wi-fi we're going to be attacking is this it contents the name of the channel that's my my own wi-fi so i'll click on it to demonstrate for you so meaning this has been selected then you want to click where it says attack so attack will trigger it. so as you can see at least one mac address should be associated with the network so you can just network so let me just uh, connect one right now okay now that i've connected the client and it has detected the mac address as you can see here it's now de-authenticating the client so once it de-authenticates the client it will capture a handshake then it will start a brute force attack on that password hash that it will detect then here to show you in green that it has found it and here to show you also the password itself so once it detects the hash as you can see it captured the handshake there and as you can see it took less than a minute after capturing the handshake to show me the password so i created this password demo password which is one to eight to demonstrate to you how easy it is if you have an easy password on your network to be cracked so one important lesson you should take from this lesson is make sure you have a strong password with characters symbols like lowercase uppercase mix it up so that it's very hard for it to be cracked and also make it unique to a point where it can be found in any common dictionary like the Q or this word list that we've used right now so if you like the video please leave a like subscribe to my channel for more security tips.